Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Citizen. Today we're going to have a look at the um, thingamajiggy, the um, electronic access uh, vandal swarm. I always say thingamajiggy when I can't um, remember what it's actually called. Um, but yes. We'll, um, start fighting. Sorry, because I'm trying to concentrate. Um, yeah, it's a little bit tough trying to, um, not fly into things and hit targets and talk at the same time about something that's interesting. Um, but I'm doing my best. I hope you will, um, bear with me because it is a little bit difficult. Okay. Um, we're hitting him. I think we got him. I think, I hope, yeah, I think we got him. Um, so we'll find some more now. This is a, not a normal Vandal Swarm. This is a Vandal Swarm with other people helping us out. I think we have one other person. I was almost going to pass out then. Um, that is, is shooting them. Um, but we'll shoot them as well. We're in the Merlin, we're in the P-52, is it called? P-52 Kruger Merlin? I think that's the proper name. I'm not completely sure. It's got a long name and I'm not good with... Okay, we just missed it. Um, yeah. Um, it's a bit difficult. Like, you're trying to target these guys and then you're following them and... This guy is good. He's like hitting them before I can even manage. Um, so yeah, you play together. It's cooperative, so we should be able to get some wreck out of this. Um, hopefully, ah, almost into a thingy. Yeah. Um, so we'll. Um, so I think there's only one other person. I was waiting a long time at the start for someone else to join the mission, actually. So. Um, Hopefully we can uh, deal with these guys together cooperatively and um, and maybe get some wreck. But I don't know if it's a thing like it's a competition like who gets the most or if it's like you know you both manage so you both get wreck. I, I don't quite know how it works. Um, well we'll see. Um, I'm trying it out. It's a bit of a different mode. I mean obviously I can't do the Vandal Swarm on my own very well at the moment but maybe we can improve that later on. Um, but yeah, um, so I'm going to try and get this guy. This is more nimble ship than the Aurora, that's for sure. Um, I'm used to the Aurora, which feels a bit like a driving a transit after driving an Aldi TT. Um, this is more, this is not really an Aldi TT, but it's uh, a bit more nimble, probably a bit more like a, a Fiesta ST. Um, Okay, we just bashed them. Maybe we destroyed them by bashing into them. Okay, there's my first death. Um, I think we have limited respawns. Um, this is our, our mate. Oh, he's not, oh, he's not my mate. I don't know the person, but he's uh, helping us out. He's in a sabre. It's a very good ship. A very, very good ship. People say it's a bit overpowered. Um, Possibly, I'm not completely sure, but he's uh, his making mincemeat of these uh, Vandal Swarms, so it's a very good ship. Um, I don't know how much it cost, it was on sale before I started playing the game, so I'm not really sure how much it cost, if it will come back on sale or not. Um, but it is a very, very good ship. Um, and uh, in the electronic access, you come across a lot of people using it, so. Uh, just try and get round the fire. We don't want to fly into the fire. Uh, he's, uh, he's there, like, like destroying them. Look. <laughs> okay, let's try and uh, help him out a bit. Maybe we can at least shoot one of them. Uh, he, he like he gets them with like three shots. Uh, we... This because you know we, we like. Did a bunch of damage before, yeah. <laughs> With our little measly weapons. But at least this this has two uh, two sets of two weapons, so four four guns. And I'm shooting them both. 
I'm obviously not hitting with everything, but we're doing some we're doing some little bits of damage here and there. Got a few a few shots off. So that's good. Um I'm I'm mainly trying not to hit asteroids. So that's the problem in this. I think it does make you a better pilot, but um my brain tends to switch off. Um Okay. Um don't quite know what happened there, if they hit me or not. I'll watch him for a bit. I don't have a respawn, do I? Yeah, I do have a respawn. Here we go. Um, yeah, it's my last respawn, so... Um, I have to be careful. I have to be very, very careful. don't quite know what happened then if someone snuck up behind me. It didn't seem to be an explosion or anything. Because you have to... Okay, now I just drove into a uh, an asteroid. Didn't even see it there. So this is him. Um, just wait and see if we get any more um, respawns. His 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 weapons. He doesn't actually seem to be flying around that fast. Um, He's more like acting like a turret, I think. Maybe that's the trick. You see the way he was like flipping. What happened then? I didn't fly into anything. They shot me. It's like they shot me with one shot. I mean, come on, that's a bit. It's a bit off. One shot. If you look at him, it's like he's it's, it's barely flying, he's just like twisting around in, there, in the air. Look, look how, look how he is. It's, it's just like gimbling on the nose of the plane. Look. Yeah, I mean, he is moving, but. That maneuverability is unreal. Make a mincemeat of them. Alright, we'll log back in. So, let's, shall we try um, doing the old space turret thing? We'll go very, very slowly. Uh, I can actually see the bullets flying out of the spaceship. <laughs> Those are the ballistic bullets, because the others are energy bullets. It's good to have both types because the energy ones um, have more range, but they get stopped by the shields. Um, but then the ballistic ones penetrate the shields, but they have less range. And I think you have to sort of, I think they move slower or something. Although, I mean. A bullet flying through space should have infinite range until it hits something. Can you imagine all these bullets flying in space in real life? It has infinite range. It'll just keep flying. And as long as it's out of the um, the sphere of influence of any planet, it'll just keep going um, until it gets into a sphere of influence. But then it'll act like a miniature meteoroid. or it will just orbit like a satellite, bullet satellite. So yeah, bullets flying through space. I mean, you would just be like flying around the new spaceship, and all of a sudden, <laughs> I mean, the chances are. Oh come on! They sneak up behind me. I don't think I flew into anything then. I'll wait for a respawn. Okay, we're on our own now. He logged out. Um, I think he used up all of his deaths as well. It's been a while. I actually had to cut the video. Um, and we'll try and not hit anything. <clears throat> okay, can we hit anyone? 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, bugger. Oh. Now we're in defeat. 100 rec though. Okay. Not bad. Okay, so um, now I'm gonna try and configure my. Um, my um, hanger, so I can put the aurora right there, look, there we go, in all its glory. Um, and here we can put the merlin. So um, I don't know if I've got the merlin here because um, I got the dragonfly. Yes, I caved in and I got the dragonfly. A motorbike seemed, a space motorbike seemed just too attractive f for me. But obviously, it's not ready yet, so they're given a Merlin possibly. Um, but I do have a Merlin rented for the. Um, so can we change these guns? We only have these laser cannons. Okay, so what we need to do is try and get some guns and whatnot to improve everything. But anyway, this is the hangout. That's how you configure things. So you go on those dots. Um, see, you can find another, another dot somewhere, like that gun. And you line up your crosshairs and you click it, which is how I think the um, the use button should work. But anyway, and you get this list of the different um, things you can choose and where they're equipped to. But if I had um, other guns, you could choose other guns if it's a gun. Um, like for example on the Aurora, I can give you an example over here at the top. Uh, where's my crosshair? See, we can fit a missile. But we don't have any missiles, so if we had a missile available, we could fit a missile and improve the firepower on the ship. So it's something we can do, and you can also improve the guns, obviously, if you have better guns. Um, you click where the guns are. Turret gun. See, um, we, and we have the laser cannons. Again, everything is an M3 laser cannon. Um, we have none. Um, so we have one spare laser cannon, apparently. But anyway, yeah, so that's how it works. So. I really need to look into what guns are good for the ship, so we, we, we sort of improve its uh, fighting performance and here we can put um, like storage equipment or whatnot underneath, so it's pre pretty good the way you customise the ships. Um, that's the power, power supply so you can get better thing, that's the missiles, yeah but that's how you customise it, so I thought I'd just uh, um, give you an overview because I haven't really been in the hangar for a while and um, this is a nice looking ship I don't know if it does uh, quantum jumps and whatnot but it is a nice looking ship so um, so this is a gun yeah look we've got the Tiger Shrek 19P as well as the, the laser gun so this has four guns so it's got much more firepower um, it's a better view than um, than what we had um, using it just um, in the um, so we have that and we can fit ah oh, that's from the other side probably yeah so I thought we could have two guns on the wing that would be pretty impressive but it's not so anyway thanks for watching I've been Stranky um, so we just did a bit of a vandal swarm we got hundred thingy majiggies. Um we didn't do too well. The other guy was helping us out a lot. Um, so, and then obviously we had to wait a long time between respawns. That's why I kept cutting the video. Um, so yeah, um, I think probably the other thing is better for wreck. But we'd have another seven hundred wreck. Uh, but now I have that ship, so we'll save up maybe to rent out an Avenger and try that out because that's probably next on my list. Um, Anyway, so thanks for watching, I've been Stranky, this has been Star Citizen, a little bit different pace today, but um, I'll see you next time, that's a nice looking ship, bye bye.